statue from Amber's basement bedroom in a large green hat because I'm such a hat person and I love the color green and it matches my shirt and my eyes. How awesome is that? So exciting news for today and a bit of a life update. I cooked Italian food for my family and everybody ate it and decided it was good. And I thought it was good, which is exciting. It was such an emotional moment for me. I started crying while I was chopping the onions for the uh, chicken pasta toss. So anyway, enough with the insane hat. Um, the poem I have for you addresses my late night YouTube habit, which may be getting a tad bit out of control, but you know, well, it all depends on how you define a YouTube addiction. I don't know. It's just, I really like to look up spoken word poetry on the internet, and um, yeah. I decided to write a poem about it, <laughs> because that's just me. So this poem is called Midnight Snack. And I really hope you enjoy it. In an attempt to wake up early, I set my alarm clock for an entire hour past the real time. Because every morning mist, when I wake up in the afternoon, feels like I'd murdered half the day. A real crime, in my mind. It's like I'd taste tested the worth lessened and I literally threw away time. So, I set the red numbers for eight, then I set the alarm clock on my phone. Twice. So even if I dismissed it the first time, that little black box wouldn't leave me alone. But then I didn't sleep. Cause half past one I discovered new words and half drowned. Walked around in delicious sounds until I was knee deep. A giant mound of literature condensed like sweetened milk into versions for the web. Sugary granules of a million different candy-colored flavors to savor the saliva of my taste buds flowed and ebbed. And I sucked these thoughts down, like so many soda cans emptied of their caffeine. Felt the icy cold refresher as my mouth wound into the Cheshire bright wide in the shadow's grin of Alice in Wonderland's cat. Saw one link, connected the www dots to another. YouTube, in a constant battle of priorities with my mother, who believes I should sleep at night. Well, what kind of a new concept is that? The battle lines were drawn, but then I actually started to <sighs> yawn at a quarter after two, after watching a video with near 26,528 views, and I wondered. Will this piece of poetry provide the lightning and thunder to set my muse on fire and inspire the next piece that I'm going to write? Is this the salt and pepper that you always find together? Reading and writing, turning the spit till the roast meat is shining, rotisserie style, or is this magical mile? Walked on a golden brick road made of Twinkies with gumdrop planted signposts, breakfast being the most important meal of the day, well, I'm never awake for that. Always miss the eggs and toast, bacon, all the hours of the morning I'd forsaken to microwave my thoughts in the blink of an eye. Is this the diet that will take my gift and make it multiply? I just figured that I'd try, but... Is this too a waste of my time? This too an abuse of the boundaries laid loose by the workings of day and night? Well, I woke up the next day at quarter afternoon, looked into the bathroom mirror with eyes like a raccoon, and I started thinking Mom was right, because I had shut off all three alarms set. But the very next night, face flooded with computerized neon light that most definitely was weakening my already contact-aided sight. Eyes wide with materialized visions of a feast of epic provision. A language-led snack pack like chocolate pudding that I thought kept me well-fed. New versions of new dreams and fresh concoctions swirling into a whirling mass of rainbow smothered, some other than caramel covered, feel-good food for the mind, interrupting my sleep to keep offering sweet, tempting morsels of thought to bake like so many smooth and palatable, soft, tender, malleable cupcakes inside my head. Well, at that moment, realization hit that if I'm truly honest, I must admit, 
Though life provides enough words for a basic mess kit, I want the ooey gooey ones. And no matter how many mornings I wake up yawning and sore, wishing I had gone to bed earlier, at least maybe two hours or more. No matter how many times, even if I start keeping track of the nights I wish I had been sleeping, the feeling of afternoon fog that always makes me upset, that feeling is one by nightfall, I start to forget. Well, I really hope you enjoyed my poem. Um, please place your comments below. And have a great day. Um, <laughs> if you too enjoy looking up spoken word poetry on YouTube, um, it can be a lot of fun, so I understand. Alright, see ya!